so we are back. Three <laughs> weeks later. It went by really fast. True. <laughs> like, I almost didn't notice it went by. <laughs> Hello, Blaze. And Green Wolves. Hello, Extreme Labs. Didn't expect to see you in chat today. Hey Snappy, a nice uh, spy proxy. Curious, anyone trying out the new UI? Yeah, I have it turned on. Hi, Rin. Kitty. figure out how to get these Agile Strong things adjusted. What? For the uh, new thing that you had set up? Oh, that's for the... That's not for this campaign. Ah, okay. But they... I mean, I might wind up changing it for this campaign, but we've already got a system so ingrained with it. It's mm -hmm. not going to be easy. Fair enough. Oh. Can I lurk and be cozy? Okay, Aaron. Mm 
So I say in about a minute we can start journals. So who do we say is going to start first? Didn't Levi go first last time? I think so. Alright, I can go first this time. Are we all ready? Yeah, about half a minute. Do we have a price? I'm right here. Perfect. And straight stairs left. I'm actually absent, but thank you for asking. <laughs> You've been asking it for three weeks. <laughs> and we'll be absent for one more. <laughs> <laughs> So if 8,000 is ready, Pedro can start his journal. All right. Diary entry number 43. I don't know if I'll ever be eager to see a haunting again. I still remember how exciting it was at the mines, and how cool it was finally to meet a ghost. But after today, I don't think it can take another heartbreak. I guess the latest situation was similar, but at least that felt like a victory. Given how Lester died, I'm not too surprised he became a ghost. His connection with Mu Mugendina was not something I would have predicted if not for Cast's reaction. On that note, it seems we do have some new information on that creature. Turns out Eternus has a second name, it's a hive mind. It and Castor have been talking, even sharing emotions such as guilt. That didn't distract me from the storm as much as I hoped. I wish there was something more I could do for Leela, but for now all I can do is really give her space to grieve. This is something that's just going to take time. End of entry. Fair enough. Uh, You're gonna leave, huh? Yep. <laughs> Creativity has been difficult as of late. I have been caught in the twist of fate that makes my poetry come across as a chore rather than great. It's it isn't something I hate, but the lack of writing comes with a weight. Uh, I guess I still can rhyme at least a little bit. The concern, the desire that fizzles away like a burn on an open pyre. It's no secret to me why this is happening. But I have no desire to tell. I've already ridden it here. I've already ridden it here. But hey, we had a hell of a time in Indicus Town. Purple smog covering the abyss in the center of everything over there. We got teleported down there with the help of one of the travelers, along with Leela. You would think we'd be happy to bring her along. And I was, but no. The place was flooded with hallucinations of her deceased brother. Even other enemies that we came across, we took them down, but those... Those were different. Familiar to me, though. I, I, I get it. Apparitions, ghosts, the dead coming once more. That abyss was not a place for the living. And the dead were looking to score. <sighs> Hell as it was, making it all the way to the end, we came across another issue. Eternatus. How naive we were not to recognize it among the purple smoke and smog. That we didn't see the signs that Castor was putting out. He was going on about how this was his fault and it didn't make sense, but... Well, now it does. It wasn't his fault. It was a fault of one he was attached to. He is attached to. 
And we encountered him down there. Mugen Dina. That's the name of the entity that that was fell, fell by Team New Dawn. The creature sought to destroy the world at the hands of a maniac. A creature from another plane of existence that came here only to be manipulated and ultimately defeated. And now that creature demise is within my ally to stay. Terrific. Maybe he'll be an ally. Maybe he'll turn Caster against us again. Who's to say? Caster managed to talk the big beast down, and in doing so, we found out that Leela's brother was alive, kinda. They were already a spirit, but they were there. I see of my parents. So I don't have to imagine what Leela's going through right now. Life support from a legendary entity. And talking to turns us down was basically pulling the plug. Caster didn't know. But there was nothing we could have done. Nothing anyone could really done. Aside from what he did. <sighs> come on, come on, come on. I can't, I can't let the others see me like this. Maybe some coffee. Maybe drink something with a chesto berry or a person berry. I... Something to energize and clear this fog. Maybe even sleeping sleeping in will do for a little while. I just... I feel like shit. Maybe I can go down to the lab, deal with this permanently, but... No. No, I can't do that. You... I know what will happen if I try. And I know what will happen if I don't. The immediate answer would be obvious to others. I don't need that. But I need a solution. Sooner than later. End of entry. There we go. On to oh. session 54. Loading game. Loading game. So, the day following the incident in Nuka's town, the team is back in New Treasure Town and starting with their own things. Huh. Let's see where is there? I believe you said that uh Apollo would be first. Apollo and Jaster. You need to focus back in. Apologies. You're good. Let me turn you up here a bit, uh Artemis. I'm gonna go grab my water real quick. Give me one moment. I apologize. Right. No worries. I'm still alive. I'm sorry. Rock polisher machine? What? What? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was looking at the chat. Space, anyway. Of course, it's Hyperia that said that. You, 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 you seem surprised. Other, it feels <laughs> otherwise. Let's see. Jesus. <laughs> <sighs> Gotta refill it, but I'll do it later. Okay. Take it easy.
Okay, where were we? So Caster and Apollo are currently in the library. Caster is just staring and only half paying attention to the book he's reading. He just lost in thought. You know, Caster, there's a lot of things going through your mind right now. I know at least that much. But uh, I'm pretty sure this is the third time you've read this page in the past 15 minutes. Who re read what? Ne who? Sorry? You. <sighs> I didn't sleep well last night. I'm not sure anybody did. I apologize. You got nothing to apologize for. Any for your thoughts? Are there even mine anymore? I think so. <sighs> it was... It's... Not like I was trying to hide this from everybody. I've been vocal about... I've been vocal about the, the dreams I've been having, the strange sensations. Those... Those I've somewhat gotten used to, I suppose. But... Actually getting coherent thoughts, words, sentences, anything other than just vague emotions and flashes of memory. That only happened maybe a day or so before, well, before we went back to Indigus Town. But we're at least seeing development then. I... Better term. Yeah. I don't know if it's for better or worse, and... Part of me is scared to find out, despite all of what I said to Eternatus, Mugendaina, whichever it prefers to be called. I know it's, it's I know it's part of me, but par I can't help but resent it or hate it a little bit for. I, I wanted to discover what I evolved into, not have it forced on me, you know? That's fair. Because I really am just still trying to struggle with thinking of Eternatus as less of that force of nature and more of someone who's just in the wrong place at the wrong time, and they're now stuck on, well, another path path of existence. Cassius put them on. As fractured and shattered as it is now, I, I can only hope he had an answer, but we may just have to make our best guesses and pick up pieces. Yeah. Do we have any idea how fractured Eternatus is? <sighs> not not in the slightest. Hmm. I've picked up four, five pieces of it now. And there must have been there's definitely been others that have been destroyed or taken taken by zealots, other explorers or rescuers, who, what have you. At, at this point, it's just really hard for me to say. We need to see if we can find some way of at least tracking them down. There's got to be a better way of doing this than stumbling from one surprise discovery to another. And I can only cover so much ground on my own, but... 
the world doesn't need more crises right now. I don't want to turn into one. No. If you do, I'm going to be the first person to try and do something about it. You hear? Paul says before uh, Rigio Paul over and just pulling the caster against himself. Ah, ah, ah. And face Mother and Fluff. <laughs> yeah, I, I know you're familiar, Apollo. I know. All right. Just making sure. Paul says for uh, moving Apollo up and just giving a he- caster a head rub or uh, retreating back to his own chair. Strokes the fin. Though, if you're looking for a bit of a break on that kind of stuff, there was something I wanted to talk to you about. Uh, he he his his gaze kind of goes uh, distant for a moment before he snaps back to your attention. Talk to me about what exactly? Well, in short, Cassia City. The the ruins or the new one that your parents are making? Well. For as long term as I'm thinking, all the above. See, my mom and my dad, um, back when uh, New Dawn finally had its heyday, um, they decided they wanted to try and rebuild what was lost. And, well, given the condition my dad's in, figure why not just pick up the family legacy and uh, keep trying to rebuild that place back out. It's not exactly going to be as it once was, but um, what do you think? Should I try for something like that? (sighs) I'm going to be honest. I just... I'm going to be honest. Realistically, yes. Uh, Right this moment, I'm just trying to figure out what the hell we're going to be doing tomorrow. Aren't we all? No problem. Doesn't mean we can't think about uh, what we're going to be doing in a few years, though, right? Assuming we pull everything off. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Well, once you're done reading about Apollo, uh, it says before... uh, moving a paw under the cover of the book and lifting it up to try and get a look at the title again. Once you're done reading about uh, Advanced Chemistry and Oceanography in Eastern Cassia, Volume 3, Paul says before uh, dropping the book back down, I'll see if I can have uh, a little something for us from the bar over where Emmy's tending. Look, that there was a horse that was talking to me, and she was like really interested in biology, and she kept giving everyone fish facts. And the, the, don't judge me, okay? I am now a fish. I need to know facts. <laughs> I I understand. So, any preference on the? Uh, smoothie I'm going to be getting from Emmy's place. Uh, citrus, please. One citrus and one pecha coming right up. Paul says before uh, taking a peek over at uh, Louis. I'll see if I can get them in here without them uh, seeing it. He's just over there idly reading. Drinking okay, you're talking don't get yourself in trouble on my account. Hey, I only get in trouble if I get caught. <sighs> Caster just kind of half sprawls out on the... Just shoves the book aside and just kind of half sprawls out on the the table. And his, his eye just kind of glaze over as he starts mumbling. Cassia City. It's 
the main city of the town, region, country. It, it's, it's our capital. Was our capital. Apollo was... Yes and no. And so was Artemis, yes. So that's Cassidy just smushes his paws against his face. Oh, that's a long story. Artem, uh, I can explain that later. I don't know what it's like where you're from, but here there are, well, lots of different places Pokemon can live, that we can live, but some of them, one of the most bountiful is the water and underwater. Vaporeon, like me, well, like what you, I, we, pronouns are hard, turned into are normally much more attuned to, much more accustomed to the water. But so they tend to live in rivers, tend to live in lakes. I've, I've even heard rumors of a deep sea Vaporeon once before. So, between that and this friend, this silly mutual friend. Look, the deep sea Vapi looks cool. Heck you. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, between that and this mutual friend of ours, um,. I have to sneeze one moment. Artemis actually sneezing. Fuck, I can't. <laughs> no! <laughs> <sighs> okay. Give, sorry about that. It. I, I've always loved, got, got, loved, you know, learning things, studying here, knowing all I can about the past. Casting in general, science, facts, math, logic, all of that. So it's something I decided to dig into a bit. Uh, there are definitely tentacle and tentacruel and probably... I don't know, Jellicent? Aluvi, how did you find the exact image we're <laughs> referencing? God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> it's the first result on the search. Literally the first one. Hold on, let me grab it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's the boy. Literally the first result. Uh, do you want a poster or should I? You can. Okay. I need to scroll up. Because this is going to be a long, ugly link otherwise. Throw that at Glacy. There it is. Deep sea vappy. <laughs> He's like, hello, friend. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, it's kind of terrifying in some way. <laughs> I was just like, yo, jeez. But you are right, it does look cool. He's got Umbreon rings. <laughs> Lots of stuff is bioluminescent down there. <laughs> Even though they technically can't see. You don't need eyes or it's dark. <laughs> you just need good senses. 
Uh, sorry, where was I? Yourself. Uh, yes. Muttering to myself incomprehensibly. Uh, I don't th think there are many other Pokemon that are particularly squiddy or tentacly. Well, none underwater that I can think of. I'm just going to avoid that word for now. Other, well, well since. Uh, one moment. Very ten, ten, oh, 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 I see. Well, if the stories are true, and barring Apollo's vision, Uh, he he kind of just reflexively grabs at uh, the the spot on his arm where the the red chain was always used to be. We shouldn't have to worry about. We, we shouldn't have to worry about Zor Ellen anymore. Kua and Reuven, uh personally saw to that, and I'm very glad I wasn't around when that happened. That does not sound pleasant to witness. I know. I can tell you are. I'd be afraid to, given all that's happened. It's... They were... <sighs> they were fighting for survival. We had... At that time, there was... It was just impossible to even comprehend or try to communicate with you with anything. The world was already in ruins and as they would tell it and as I've seen some of the ruins myself, they, they couldn't afford, they were barely holding on as is, letting another disaster ravage the land like it did the first time I don't think Cassia would have survived I don't think anyone would have survived <sighs> they're they're not bad people you know and Cassia really is a beautiful, wonderful place, even though I've not seen much of it myself. Would you... Yeah, Lewis is just listening to Caster talk to himself <laughs> like a fucking madman. <laughs> His tea is like, yeah, I'm going. 
<laughs> the voices in my head are talking back to me, okay? <laughs> Smile. It's okay to talk Ooh. to yourself, just don't reply. <laughs> I'm just communing with my patron, Cthulhu, please. <laughs> Pokemon equivalent of Cthulhu in Eternatus. <laughs> Eldritch Blast. Eldritch Blast. I, I this mean, base Eterna Beam. I mean... I'm a, war I'm a warlock now, confirmed. Confirmed. <laughs> um, where was I? Cast even high enough level to cast bait. What? Oh god. <laughs> oh, what, what do you get? That's sixth level, I think. Uh, ninth. Gate is ninth level spell. Unless I'm looking at the wrong one. Jesus, that's like level. Tw that's like level twenty max level, or something. We're, we're going off track. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um. From what you've seen of Cassia. If I want to believe that you wouldn't want to destroy it, too. Do you want to meet more Pokemon? Do you want to meet that that team who stopped your captor? Who, well, fought you, but... I'm going to let Glacy ruminate on that for a little bit, and I'm going to refill my water real quick. I'll be back in a, in a few minutes. I apologize. You're okay. good. If that's okay. You're good. Also, yeah, it, it is correct. Gate is a ninth level spell. And by a Pokemon equivalent, I believe we would be like level <laughs> 10 in 5e rulings because we're level 50. That's half the level's maximum. So yeah, technically, tenth we're already level 10. <laughs> you are the Vaporeon. You are the water. <laughs> this one isn't. They're a poison type. makes me think and coincidentally since caster is a poison type vaporeon wouldn't they just become like the poison when they're in it kind of like when they become water question answer that's a good question I, I, only, I only caught questions ah no I, in response to what how is that? I was saying, I was saying, good question. I, I don't know an answer. I mean, he already has acid armor, and he basically becomes the the acid. So I guess it is accurate. <laughs> Pardon just me. Become, just becomes a pile of goop. And yeah, the librarian took his tea and just walked out <laughs> without a word. Shall we shift the scene? Uh, Arm must come back. Okay, making sure. I'll just shift over for like a brief moment to uh, the tavern. Oh boy, I get to see what's in the TMs. He's sort of murmuring to himself. Oh, that's to uh, Apollo. Huh? 
Hi there. Are up. At least for a moment. It's just sort of Hello, like, uh... He's just sort of murmuring to himself. Huh? Caster? Yeah. Got it. I'll, I'll check in on him. Hey, Amy? Oh, what can I do for you, Paula? Here to get two drinks. One with citrus berries and another with patchy berries. Please. All right, come in right up. Thank you. Hey, Louis, is Caster saying anything in particular? I uh, just things like fish talks and like stuff about what happened in Cassia City. All things for a while. Okay, I think I know what's going on. I'll handle it. All right. Take care, okay? Will do. Thanks for the heads up. Nine months. <laughs> Paul is just resting his head on the counter. It's adorable. And here you go. <laughs> Thank you very much. Paul says for a uh, dexterously sliding a tray under them and uh, letting that tray slide up from the top of his head and onto his back flawlessly. <laughs> Oof. I would certainly hope the back of Apollo's bit <laughs> is uh, smooth. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna have Paula fast travel back to the uh, <laughs> library. Yeah, we're just waiting for uh, Artemis to get back. You can go to the uh, entrance of the library. And he's coming right back. Oh, so that's what an insomniscope does. Mm -hmm. I am returning. Hi. So is Apollo. <laughs> Sippy drink. How does Apollo carry two cups? The world may never know. I just very. explained that they were balancing on his back on a tray. Oh. In other words, very carefully. <laughs> very carefully. And there we go. <laughs> and yeah, this one um... right here is the citrus berry drink. Yeah, Apollo's mom is scary. Oh, hi. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Talking to the man upstairs. Paul says before uh, 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 coming over to the uh, opposite side of the chair. It's it, it's just easier to talk out loud. At least then other people can kind of figure out what's going on. Can you hear me? Uh. Oops. That's supposed to be a whisper. Oops. Was this me? His blood. <laughs> it's a sneaker's blood. Uh, yes, this is. Well, a sm Apollo, how would you explain a smoothie? Uh, 
they're like really, really, really small bits of ice. While it's at the ends, there's like crushed up berries mixed in with it, and uh, like a little bit of like extra flavoring and stuff to sweeten it up. Sometimes milk. Yeah. We call those milkshakes. We do lots of really cool things with smoothies. Caster's going to give a, like a surreptitious thumbs up towards Apollo. They're an acquired taste. He's, he's going to He's gonna lean forward and just take the small sippy and just relax and just sort of melt a little bit and make sure the books are safely out of the way. Mm -hmm. Melts into chair. Acid armor be like... No! No! <laughs> <laughs> Not that much. You're going to have a hell of a time trying to explain that one to Lewis. Louis, technically. Yeah, sorry, Louis. <laughs> I gooped, I'm sorry! <laughs> uh, do you have... Do, does it turn... <laughs> Cash is going to like lean in real close to, to lean in real close to Apollo. Does the Turner just have a mouth? I don't know. Paul just gives it a shrug. Uh, when we... Uh, when we eat and feed th on things, they have different textures, they have different feels to them, they have different tastes and smells. H how we perceive and interact with the world. Uh, food is primarily, you know, taste. How how is it sweet? Is it salty? Is it savory? Is it bitter? Dry. B bitter, dry, sweet, spicy. Uh, <laughs> shit! What was the last one? Bitter, sour. dry, sour. 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 Thank you. No worries. Like also, sour. also, yes. It does have a mouth. It's kind of weird, though. Being <laughs> with you. Um, Is it just a little triangle? Uh, yeah, no, no. <laughs> I got a picture for it. It looks Google like search. A... <laughs> Google search. Does Eternatus have a mouth? <laughs> It looks like a mouth. I don't. I don't know if that counts. <laughs> he just pecks the food to eat it. Think, think. I don't know if that counts either. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't. Maybe? <laughs> just an arrangement of things just, put together. We're just going to put a pin in that one for now. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. I've been talking to it on and off since you were... Since, since just before you left, Abolo. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to... I'm trying to convince it, him, her, trying to convince Mugen Dinah to see the rest of Cassia and maybe meet New Dawn. I don't know if that's a good or a bad idea. We'll see. Paul says thinking matter for a moment. It, uh, teams a bit scared of them, but even more scared of uh, its old captor, if you catch my drift. 
Yeah, that yeah, that's understandable. Paul just leans over, uh, grabs his uh, smoothie in his uh, mouth, and tries to take a, a small drink of it, but ends up uh, setting the cup down and facing back to Caster with like a uh, Petraberry smoothie mustache. You're just like like one of those dogs trying to have like the puppercino and just all of the the the, yes. the whipped cream or whatever just all over their face. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Apollo's gone rabid. <laughs> I'm sorry, Apollo. We have to put you down. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Caster's uh, Caster slides the uh, the the smoothie away for a bit before bursting into giggles. Uh, y- you have it a little bit uh, uh, everywhere. I do. Huh. Whoops. <laughs> and just licks up the side of their mouth. <laughs> I'm just envisioning like Apollo trying to do like that. Uh, Scooby Doo like whipped cream lick. No, yeah, just, just the <laughs> yeah, the, three, the, the three sixty clean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I was going to tell a little bit more about you, your parents, and New Dawn, but that's that's a long story, and it's not entirely well it's not entirely my story to tell i suppose all this talk about me wanting to be my own person and decide for myself what i want to do and now i'm actively trying to help the the alien pokemon from outer space who lives inside my head to uh, acclimate and not, you know, want to destroy us all, I guess. I swear I'm not crazy. Please don't sound... I I know this. I know it sounds crazy. I'm not crazy. Please, I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. (laughs) He's just gonna... He's just gonna grab the, the, the citrus smoothie and just... Really long, really long sippy. Accl- acclimate? Get it. Get used to. It's. Settle in. F- finding a new home, in a sense. We, you know, now that you say it, I guess we really don't know a lot about where where Mugendina comes from. been to a lot of different places in Cathia. And here, hum- Humble Town. S- sorry. New Churcher Town? 
you know, it's been three weeks. My, I'm, I'm rusty. I'm sorry. <laughs> New Treasure Town. Humble Town was DTD. Uh, this is this and the new Cassia City are where I've known what I've known for most of my life. But there are as there are deserts, there are mountain ranges, there are other cities, there are ruins sprawling everywhere. We hell, we even saw we even went to Lumen City, a uh, city hidden away completely underground. Cassia really is a beautiful region with all sorts of oh Apollo can you see that or Apollo oh, looks over yeah yeah I can see that Is this home? Yes. And, uh, yes and no. This is just one small part of home. Uh, this is my, well, not biological brother, but this is my brother, Apollo. He has a long story of his own. Uh, Apollo, uh, this is Munga Dino. Nice to meet you, finally. You're familiar. We've crossed paths. At least we did in a previous life. You're the red one? No. The red one's my father. What's that on your neck? Oh, this? This belonged to Apollo Aaron. He used to be the guild master out here. I, well, before I was born, in a previous life, I was a Lucario, and this was the scarf that I wore. Is it a friend? Not necessarily, but I like having it around. Uh, b before you come in, Glacia, uh, can I roll perception to see if I notice Glacia walking in? Sure. Okay. Because I, I want to do a thing. I'm just gonna have a little thing. Shit. Yeah. 
I was gonna have I was gonna have Caster go run and hide behind the bookcases. <laughs> Is is it comfy? I certainly think so. All it says before uh, standing up and uh, coming over to their side, letting the uh, slack end uh, sort of drop off his back and dangle right beside him. You can touch it if you want. It's like a snake. You could say that, yeah. Will it hurt me? Of course not. Only if he starts, you know, just scooting his paws against against the floor, and then he tries to poke you with it. Then it might shock you. Feels weird. It's made out of really soft cloth. It lasts a long time. It's a gift to me from a mentor of mine. It's so bright yeah how it does that it just continues to sway kind of rubbing his paw over it Paul is uh, holding still just so he can get a uh, good sampling of it. After a moment, he finally like looks over and she's like, Who, "Who's that?" Paul who's... looks over and oh. uh, sees Glacy. Oh, uh -oh. yeah, that's Glacy Alice. Hi. Busted. A description. Yes. And no. What is it doing here? Say something only Caster would know. <laughs> <laughs> Paul looks back at Caster before looking over at uh, Glacy again. <sighs> Caster just gonna just. Tap, tap at the side of his head. Uh, did we, or out of character, did we, uh, no, I haven't seen across <laughs> the spider verse. We can't do the spider head pointing meme yet. <laughs> um, where was I? Shit. Uh, we haven't explained to, to Glacy, uh, the whole caster talking to Eternatus thing yet, have we? We have not. Fuck. <sighs> I. Uh, it's a bit of a long story. Ever since, well, a day or two ago, uh, Eternatus, or Mugandina, as it's called, 
uh, has been talking to me in my head. Like actual proper words and sentences. And on our last mission, uh, to summarize a very long story, uh, we bumped into another piece of it protecting, well, pr protecting what it, who it considered a friend. I've heard a little bit about that. You're tripped into this turn. Leela's brother. Yeah. He he, he just kind of he just kind of droops. If Eternatus is appearing through that, then that means it's creating distortions of its own. Yes, it's done that a few times when we've we've encountered the the shards of it. As well, as best I can tell, they've been to try and protect itself, and they've all been based on, well, mostly been based on people I know, people who are important to me. My memories. Well, for and presumably because I have, you know, bonded with it so much. So it has sapiens. That it does. D did. I don't know for sure, but based on the flashes of memory, uh, the flashes of memory I've seen, uh, we just couldn't communicate with it back when attack Cassia was attacked and it was destroyed. Uh, Cassia is going to start to say the name. Uh, take a glance backward. Uh, the the cult leader, the old cult leader, uh, had um what seems like almost complete control over it, and it was rampaging and lashing out purely because of him. Well, I'm At, not sure complete control. Was cracked, huh? As I remember, back in Cassia Town, in the center, the control seemed not so much direct as it did uh, do what I tell you or else, kind of. Like it was using the red chain to uh, sort of shock submission out, if that makes any sense. <laughs> Apollo, the Ixnay on the Ainche. I can understand that sort of response. If it's gained sapiens from Caster, then that's news, but that's not what I'm concerned about. It appearing in the forests is not. A big surprise. It appearing here, however, that means it's distorting this place. It is, or I am. It only appeared because it. I was. Well, I, I was telling it about Cassia. I was telling it about Pokemon that live here. I was telling it about fish facts. Long story. I'll be I sure mean, to it's... tell my sister. 
Either way. Why are you telling your sister about fit? Right. Sorry. My mind's all scrambled. The way it's looking at me tells me it's gained a childish maturity. How would you know just right six lifetimes? Right. Dumb question. Wait, hold on. Out of character, would Caster know she's had six lifetimes? Hold on. Probably. She's pretty pub. Okay. <laughs> okay, carry on. Sorry. I wouldn't necessarily hide it. <laughs> if it's thinking and acting like a child, then I don't think it really knows what it's doing here. But we can't simply just allow it to cause distortions on a whim either. Then... Especially, especially not here. Uh, give me a moment. I need to whisper you something. I hate it, but it fits. <laughs> um, well, does that mean hell? Let me think. I'm now I'm biased, extremely biased, because for for, for 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 hopefully obvious reasons. But I feel like trying to teach Muganina about Cassia, about the region, about all the Pokemon who live here is a good thing. And it, it just feels wrong to punish it for trying to punish it for trying to do that to do so. I'm I mean, I'm the one who was telling it about t telling it about everything after all. Is there uh Is there any other way it can... Ugh. Fine, I'll... I'll stop beating around the bush. Does that mean I should just let it take the driver's seat sometime? I wouldn't really say that, but there has to be another way it can present itself without Potentially destabilizing the space around it. I think that's a little bit above my knowledge. Though, speaking of knowledgeable people, between you, Serenity, and Zane. I think we would be able to come up with something. Cats is gonna gl gl glance back towards uh, Mugen Dinah. Should sh sh should we introduce it him, her, to Zane? Well, I'd say at this point, don't think we're really gonna be. Wouldn't really be a bad idea. 
Or... I, God, God. I feel like Moria would know something about it, but at the same time, I'm a little skeptical introducing it to her. Uh, They have a history. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's introduce them to New Dawn and Miss Moria later. That, uh, uh, baby step. Shit. He's just going to kind of stumble back. I don't name it like is it? <sighs> if the stories I read about their fight are to be believed, I can't really blame it. I'm going to keep this to myself for the time being. Serenity can keep a secret? Of course she can. No, Ser Ser Serenity... Out of character. Serenity's... <laughs> Ser Serenity's Glissy's wife. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> m m why is my brain blanking on who her sister is? Lysida. <laughs> Lysida, thank you. Well, Serenity and Lysida can keep secrets. They can. Should, should we tell Zane and the rest of the team just yet or I'd probably give that a little time yeah oh boy either way I'm gonna talk between Araya and Umbrio about this and see if we can think of anything if you can hear me Luke and Dinah Sorry for bringing up that name. Well... Congratulations, Apollo. Your your mom is officially so scary that it scared Eternatus back into nothingness. Kinda. Yeah. Yeah, I figured that one out a while ago. <sighs> I'm gonna finish my smoothie and... I'm going to finish my smoothie, and I might as well stay here and teach it more about, you know, well, everything, I guess. I, I may pop out to talk to Glacialis and Lysida in a little bit. All right. No, well, I still have to finish my smoothie as well. Don't really have a whole lot else going on today. <sighs> one of our rare days off and I'm uh, even on our days off we still have so much to deal with <laughs> out of character what what are what are we the, the fucking guild masters <laughs> eventually uh we can switch scenes over if it, uh we're good yeah uh and, Ap and Apollo feel free to go and interact with other people I'm probably gonna have Caster just reading both for himself and for uh, Eternatus. No, right. the reading for only one times the benefit. I, I, I can't believe Mogadina is our version of K. I have to teach you how to fucking read. <laughs> it's going to be addicted to smoothies. Oh my god. I mean, at least it's not bread. God. 
So, should we go to the garden or the training field? It's not going to be bread, it's going to be pasta. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Actually, I'm going to just ask. 8,000. Yeah, Bryce? Do you need my assistance for anything you're doing in the training yard? I think so. <laughs> Pat, Pat, and Ron's there practicing his telekinesis. What were you thinking? I'm just asking you generally, making mm-hmm. sure ahead of time before we make a decision as to where to go next. And I can adapt um, the way it goes. I'm fine. I don't people dropping in. I didn't have too big of plans when it came to the training itself. There. Glacy has anything to say? Mm, in that case, there will be a scene there uh, during his training, but mm-hmm. probably should do a thing with Levian. Then I don't mind which one goes first. Actually, we we'll start with Levi. Okay. <clears throat> that would also probably require. Luvi as well. I mean, he's literally right down the way. You can just call him. There's a good chance he's not. <laughs> Either way. Um, so Levi's basically just kind of I, I want to say almost meandering. But he's moving around with a, bas- with a basket basically in his tail, walking from tree to tree, just picking berries. And or looking at the plants on the ground and just uh, making sure they're growing well, watering them, taking care of them. Generally assisting the shop for Sunrise. Actually, would that be a survival roll? Or, is that, just, or is that just something else? Could be. Oh, uh, what? Don't worry, it was the correct sheet. <laughs> and a really good roll at that. <laughs> On a 3d6, yeah. 5, 4, 4, nice. Yeah, he's just kind of keeping to himself, meandering through the uh, plants. Though, it's given... Just... Given the green tip, the green horns passively gr- glowing when the sun covers, when the sun gets covered by clouds, you can probably still see him sticking out like a sore thumb. But he's doing what he can. Laughs and literally reflective gems. <laughs> Basically. And since Olivia would probably be helping him, I'm going to make a roll too. <laughs> Did we get new um, TMs? Yep. I rerolled yeah. the shops. They rolled a 10, which was as many TMs as possible, and I'm just like, oh my god. <laughs> Gotta Sadly, happen no occasionally. Earthquake. Sadly, no earthquake. Like, Sadly, you say. <laughs> I was going to pick up Cautious. It'd have been, it would have been fine. Bear. Before he picks up, before he picks up Cautious, he uses it, and everybody just falls on the ground in the fucking Peter Griffin death pose. <laughs> <laughs> because literally the entire party is weak to ground. Up. Yeah, <laughs> everyone but Apollo. Yeah, it's just like, oh yes, ground type move. Um, oh, <laughs> one fear. That said, though, actually getting back on topic, Levi is going to go about. Probably stop right here and stop. And I'm just gonna just roll this. Close enough. Stopping because he hears somebody else he wasn't expecting. He wasn't expecting to hear anybody else. So just peeks around like, oh. 
What are you doing out here? Helping. Why? I have nothing better to do. Right. Of course. Um... How are... How are you? Hmm... For the most part, I think I've brushed over the recent events relatively decently enough. It's just, um... I might need to find a way to do things differently, because I think my little conundrum that I've been having is just not working. What do you mean? Remember when I said I was trying to commune with Jirachi a little more? I have no idea what I'm doing. Ah. I tried everything that was even there, even the cliches. Save for wanting to go back to Star Cave and dealing with his oh so fun puzzles. You think we'll encounter another distortion like the one we did last time? I doubt it, but I wouldn't put it behind them. Of course. Of course. At the same time, though, he did technically teleport. And we have no idea where. No, I mean, he teleported us. What's to uh, say he can't do that if we're in range again? For all we and know, he'll, rec he'll recognize you and just bring you over and say hello. And have some tea and berries ready for you when they see you. <clears> hmm. <throat> From what I've read of Jirachi, usually they are asleep for several years at a time. What if he's so. asleep? And if he's asleep, and I'm not sure if going to go just waltzing in and waking him up's a good idea. I don't think you could. I'm pretty sure it's not a matter of could. I can think of a number of ways to wake someone up. I'm pretty sure it's more so a matter of should. Getting you to wake up is actually more of a chore as of late. Don't mention it. <laughs> well. Trying to do what everybody else is doing and make it to next day, so to speak. Oh. Despite all those techniques that I've been trying, I think I might understand how Padrock does his studies, I believe. At least at the basics of it, but nothing concrete. The basics. Care to elaborate? Um, you know how he has his fascination with occult studies? It, I'm gonna be honest with you, I have no idea how that stuff works still. So, yeah. I just know that it does. Well, Whatever the hell he does with those books and understanding what goes on beyond what most people understand is on him. He does that with occult studies. I've done that with things like computers, things like wiring and electronics and, you know, normal things. Not whatever in God's name he's working on. Uh, two different sides of a coin. As he turns around, it's like, just... Then again... You're something of an herbalist, yes? Yes, what about it? 
In regards to your methods for trying to commune with Jirachi, was it? Mm. Have you tried? I remember that doing this once or twice when we were in when I was still in the Zealots. Have you tried blending a few plants together, putting it all in a, in a pile? Incense. Not quite an incense, because what we did, you, you get it all together, you set it on fire, sure, you put it in a room, you close, you close the door, and everyone... You don't want to stand up, because balance is a... Oosh. You don't have balance. It, so what you're implying is that I hotbox a room. That's what it's called? I don't know. Whatever it is that basically you may not be able to see straight physically, but it's supposed to open up your mind to more possibilities. I'll Maybe be frank it... with you. I may be a herbalist, but I have never worked with the... Ah, what's the word for it? Psychoaroma or something like that? <clears throat> Something like that. I'm just going to call it that. Psycho-aromatics. Yeah, I think that, that sounds right. <laughs> Psychosomatic or something like that. Either way, it's... One of the things we did every now and then to try and get closer to the Dark One, and it was... It was fun. But, you know, this was before I learned... everything. Makes sense. And then it stopped being so fun. What are you talking about? You're fun all the time. Really? Levi, I've been around you long enough to know when you're having fun and actually do being fun. Right now, I don't think you're having very much fun. I gave it away. Uh, the droopy nature you have. The fact that you're in a garden, picking berries, which is very uncharacteristic of you. Of you. For that matter. Just needed something to do to keep me busy for a while. And keep it busy. Keep you busy will definitely do. Um, Is there something else you wanted to talk about? I... no? I don't know. Music. Music! <laughs> Literally got sidetracked and I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I lost my train of thought, damn it! <laughs> no, you actually... I'm sorry, can you repeat that, Levi? You were like... <laughs> you asked if there was anything else that Levi wanted to talk about. Yes. Apologies for the for the uh, mumble mouth. <laughs> Where was I? Like you were underwater. <laughs> good, good point. I'm going to take a quick sip. Excuse me. Okay. Um, good night, Green Wolves. Good night, Green Wolves. Uh, I'll be honest, Olivia. There are things I could talk about, things I would love to talk about, but I don't want to talk about it. And mm -hmm. then there's also the fact that... You're right. The whole sleep thing. I have not gotten... 
You would think I'm, I'm well rested, but I'm more tired than I've been in a very, very long time. Do you need me to put you on a sleep schedule? And if we're to were it up to a sleep schedule, Luffy, I would be fine. But there are nights where I straight up can't sleep as of late. And then there are nights where I can just sleep for two days straight if I wanted to. That is very irregular, but nothing you can really do about it. Uh, I can think of one thing, but... Not an option. I mean, if it's really that bad, you could just have a Padrock uh, hypnotize you to sleep. True. But is it really restful? Or, uh, but then again, sleep is sleep. I'll, I'll deal with it. Who knows, I'll probably ask him tonight. Help me out with that and actually catch some Z's. Speaking of Padrock, have you seen him recently? Today? Last I saw him, he was heading south. I want to say towards the training yard. Now why would he be going there? Pulling off steam, perhaps? Maybe. You, uh, want to go check? I've already picked these trees about... He just stops and looks back to the basket. Yeah, I'm pretty much done. Well, let's then let's go and put those back. Check out over at the tavern, and then we'll head over there. Yeah, I'll go take these to Sunrose, and you know what? I got an idea. Mm hmm. Uh. Hey, Sunrose. How are you? Oh, I'm good. How are you doing, Levi? I'm fine. Here's your berries. I'm gonna head and take care of getting them all together. He just oh, thanks. sets down a large basket right next to the door. Were you into work? That's gonna help a lot. Good to hear. That said, I need a few things. What can I get for you? <clears throat> a chester berry, a leper berry, and a person berry. All right, I can get that right for you. Just need to get it to Emmy so I can get a drink and try try to get out of this funk. And here you go. You said Chesto, Leppa, and Pearson? Yep. Alright. That'll be 1,000. So he just casually slips a hand back and hands her the money. I realized that the shops didn't get restocked since last session. Well, uh, well it's okay. Sun Roses, <laughs> Sun Roses certainly just got restocked. <laughs> and she gives him the berries and then gives him 500 back. Oh. That's for the help. Thanks. Okay, let's go, uh... Deal with this so I can stop feeling like shit. Hopefully. Hopefully. He does stop, take a peek into, uh... The infirmary and tilt his head a moment. Huh. Those two swap places. Well, they did get a building extension. Yes, but usually Zeno's next to Reyna. Not Rescue. Mm. Good point. Probably tired. Oh, wait, hold on. Hmm? Hello, Emmy! Hey, Harvey. Hey, Levi. Oh, good gracious, you have a... Oh, entire stock this time around. What in the world? <laughs> you wouldn't happen to have earthquakes somewhere in that mix, would you? I haven't found one, no. 
Huh. Now, there are a lot of them here. Like, a lot of these are quite useful, actually. Shame I can't use any of them. Yeah, I wouldn't expect you to be able to, unfortunately. What about you, Levi? Is there anything you'd be able to use? There is Thunderbolt. Considered, but I think I'm okay without it for now. Thunderwave mm -hmm. I used to have, I think, at one point. Let's see. I think I'm good for now. I think I'm okay for now. Hmm. But. Alright. Is there anything I can get you? No. I think we're going to be heading off right away. One, two, six. Okay. 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 I just want to be contrarian. Okay. okay I mean, you, know, you, you happen to have something for Vertigo? And vertigo. Hmm? You seem to have been a little bit dizzy. That's why I thought it was probably Vertigo. I mean, that you just, like, take a moment and rest them off. Here. Leva just sets down the three berries he got from uh, Sunrose. Can you make a drink with these three? Sure, I can do that. I don't need coffee. I need something... Uh, hopefully actually work. Something stabilizing, so to speak. Or some green tea should help. Maybe a little honey. That'd be nice. He glances over to Olivia. And to make a long story short, I feel tired. I feel weak. And my head feels like I can barely make a thought. I'm not. In the, I don't feel good right now. That sounds like lethargy. What is the lepa berries for? Oh, hope they spike you right up. Levi I just grab the grab the cup and just slowly start sipping at it immediately before taking it to the. Uh, bench to sit down. Okay. Oh yeah, that helps. That helps, that helps, that helps. Good. It's hot. It's hot as, it's hot as shit, though, but it helps. <laughs> Hey. So how are the rest of you? He dresses the people at the table. <laughs> Fine here. Vane and Saline are just sitting there having their own tea and bowling to each other. I'm gonna... Something on my end. Okay. Well, that's actually a rare sight. Louis, I didn't think you ever left the library. Yeah, I decided to leave your friend alone for a while. Oh. He seems to be having a day. I imagine. Do that. Do this. Okay. Like, Levi is just, like... <gasps> Excuse me. 
pours more tea into the gla into the glass, sips it, and then the sips go from just straight straight just drinking it without even worrying about it. Uh, Levi, you you, you do realize you're probably gonna choke if you try to chug it like that. I mean, yeah, I realize it, but I'm I I feel better. <clears throat> As long as you feel better, just don't overdo it. Yeah, I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. How you doing, by the way? He just furrows a brow at you like... That's a question that seems a little sudden. Well, given the fact that how I was a moment ago, and how I feel now... I'm feeling better. And I didn't exactly get the response earlier beyond mutterings. The the brain fog is clearing. I actually feel like I can move properly. So yeah, we're this is helping a lot. You just sips more sips more and uh and pours more. Considering what Louis said, I might want to actually check it, check up on Caster. You said Caster is still uh, at the uh, library, yes? I would probably leave him alone for a while. Oh? Is it really that bad? Uh, not really bad, it's just I wouldn't really talk to him right now. He's got some other company, I think. Well, as long as somebody is talking with him. Out of character. Oh, someone's talking with him, alright. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's just like, I'm not even... I. He's going. He's assuming Apollo in this instance. It's like, yeah, as long as he's got someone talking to him. It's just like... Boy, if he knew. <sighs> Feeling better? Vastly. Great. Um, should we head to the training yard then? Sure. Let's just hope. Let's just hope this little. Let's just hope this lasts. Because it's not exactly a cheap solution to be able to just get this poured. Okay. He eventually finishes the entire pot of tea. <laughs> and by eventually, I mean... Yeah, he downed it fairly fairly quickly. <laughs> Alright. He just takes the tea in the... In the, uh, the pitcher and, and the glass and the saucer. Sets it back over with Emmy. Thank you kindly. <laughs> well, you didn't finish that quickly. Well, it was the first thing I really had to eat or drink all day, so yeah. Wait, anyway, a moment. Huh? He just holds out a small vial to him. I advise you take some of this. That depends, Mr. Potion Maker. What is this? Buprenorphine. Buprenorphin what now? Exactly. Like, what? I notice you... Uh, what you're doing. And that it shows signs of withdrawals. Take this. It'll help. It draws from what? Uh, God damn it. You are really perceptive, you know that? Need I explain? He just quietly looks over between Z and then down the glacy serenity and the rings like, does it have to be here? Huh, I just mean... consider it a tonic. No one needs to know otherwise. Right. 
And with that, he takes and just knocks it back. Without too much further question on the matter. Take a moment to settle down. It'll sure. take a little bit to activate. Um, Aluvi. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. what? Screw it. I can explain it to you later. What's actually going on. But till then, you want to go ahead and go check on Padrock? He should be in the training yard. Um, sure. Are you staying here? For now. I'll catch up. All right, then. Uh, out of character, Glacey, you may as well go to uh, yeah. Padrock scene while I'm make, making moves over here. Yep. And you two will show up there afterwards, <clears throat> later on. Yep. So click, uh, click off of your token for a moment so you don't drag it. All right. So at the training ground, I guess when the camera pans in, you would see Padrock sitting cross-legged on on the dirt, his eyes closed as the rock in front of him. Like, what would you say the weight class of that rock is? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Five, six? I mean, it's attached to the ground. It's probably not moving. <laughs> so it's However, not like a power rock or something? Nope. However, there is another rock that you can use. <laughs> so you like? Yes, you'd see that rock. Only a Luvi could lift that rock. <laughs> you have something a little bit bigger. Hmm? The because the, the, I'm picturing like there being like a pretty decently sized rock hovering in front of that rock. Have a rock. <laughs> Adrock has a rock. <laughs> it's come full circle. Oh, he really is becoming Pad Rock. <laughs> <laughs> but you're like that, like a few centimeters up to an inch of the ground. His eyes closed, taking deep breaths as he focuses on just keeping the rock up in the air. Oh, let's study. Hey, what was that? Oh, let's study. Hadron's ears look a little at the words. Before the rock plops the ground, kicking up a bit of dirt as he turns his head. Uh, oh! I... Hey there, Trow. I could feel your psychic energy from a mile away. You're focusing too hard. But it's heavy! Yes, and you should be starting with something a little lighter. Okay. Just been working on my focus, okay? Is there something on your mind? When is there not? Okay. 
I don't know much else about you other, other than the whole sight thing that we went after you for, but... You're a bright sim. You're supposed to become a psychic type when you evolve, right? Man, I did, didn't I? Well, normally bright sim don't, aren't psychic types already. At least, that's what I've heard. I could be wrong. Petro's just... There's a troll giving them a shrug. Well, can't really argue anything on that. Never really got the chance to study Pokemon. Either way. If you're looking to try and get your um, psychic powers up and running, then I suppose I can help you. You saw what uh, myself, Lucentia, and Araya did before. And during the attack? Yeah. I vaguely remember that. Well, I can help you a little bit, at least based on my own experience. Can't really say much about what Araya did because you're not normally supposed to be able to carry dark types with it, but otherwise, I think I can be of use. At least give me something to do. Oh. Hmm? I think we lost straight. Straight's being called away. He's not sure when he'll be back. Fuck. Mm. Fuck. I'm a little surprised to get an offer help from you, but. What? Like. You know what? Sure. Are you seeing the rock? Are you envisioning it when you close your eyes? Yes and yes. Okay. You have a pretty good idea what it looks like. You know? You have an idea what it looks like when it floats? There's about a half second pause before he nods. Your hesitation says otherwise. Well, picture it. It's hard to see him the underside until you lift it up, you know. <laughs> well, that's when you physically lift it up. It's got some kind of point there. If you're going to be using psychic powers, you need to know the details. Now, take a moment and look back at the rock. You know, it's sitting back down with his legs crossed again. Now, you're not going to be closing your eyes this time. Just keep your focus on the rock. He you nods, know, placing his hands in his lap as he focuses. Then concentrate. Not too hard. Just concentrate. On picking it up. That hell returned to it, the attempt. 
and make it as though you are picking it up with your hands, but don't actually move them. He nods, once again in front of the stone this time, his hands staying as lap as his head slowly lifts like he, like he, like you would if you were keeping an eye on something you were picking up. Don't strain yourself, because if you strain yourself, then you're not going to be able to do this naturally. Try not to. There you go. Steady. If you apply too much focus now, you'll throw it. And I am a bird. I would not like that to happen. <laughs> Rock types. Maybe don't try not to put that mental image in my head while I'm focusing on this. All right, hold it there. Yeah, yeah. Now, hold it for a moment and breathe. And then... Uh, roll focus. Alright. Yeet! <laughs> oh god, that's a 24! That's oh, three geez. sixes and a one. <laughs> <laughs> Just yeets the dang thing. Damn. So, <laughs> so the rock Probably. space... The rock stays firmly in the air. And... Trell just watches as it seems that Padrock is starting to calm down. Breathing is the one thing that you need to make sure you always do. It's told in every exercise, always breathe. Because if you can't do it while you're breathing, you can't do it while you're doing other things. Multitasking is key here. Otherwise, you might as well just be using your hands. Mm. The whole reason I picked this rock was... Because I had the idea. Hey, what if I treated this like weightlifting? All right, nice to well we put it back down. Muscles. No, not as this time the rock went considerably more softly than its previous time. And it lands on the ground with barely a fun. Not bad. If you keep at it, and remember to breathe every time you're doing it, you'll get it. I was breathing. See, I'm not doing Thank you. I don't say that to be condescending either, because it's more complicated than it sounds. Remember to breathe, it's a common saying. But if you just keep remembering that, then you should be fine. Yeah. Fine. Try to keep that in mind. Hmm. Yeah. 
completely. Uh, looks like you have company. Yeah, India. Hey, Leela. Hey. Sorry, I'm I'm not interrupting, am I? No, I was between. What should we call it? Threats in this case. I'm not sure what the term probably be, but mm -hmm. it came in a good timing. I'll leave you two alone. Pidgeotto used fly. <clears throat> Pidgey hot. <laughs> so, you've been practicing, huh? Yeah. Been trying to see what comes most natural still. Trying to figure it out. And I figured if I. And even if this doesn't come, this one doesn't come the most naturally, it seems that being able to pick up members of the team is a quite handy skill to have, considering yesterday. Yeah. So he says, kind of win wincing mid sentence as he realized. What? Rise is just a bit too late to stop speaking. I've been thinking about a lot of things since that happened. I know that drooling on it now is not going to be good for anything not not for my health not for my team not for anyone it's just reliving all that seeing him again being there it brought back a lot of memories a lot of them not really good. But I'm trying. I'm trying. He nods. I don't know if I'll really ever be fully okay. You, you don't ever move past something like that. You just learn to get stronger with it. I wish there was something I could say here, but... I... Guess it... You're trying to be stronger? I'm... Uh, again, that's all he had to say for the moment. It'll, it'll take some time. It, I am, I am glad that you've always been here. During this, during other times, even just on normal occasions when everything's okay. Thank you. I mean, it's nice to be able to be around for you. Oh. What do you plan on doing now, then? Since... Well, since all that's done. I 
I think climbing's actually one of my points. I... I just... My focus of the day was just going to be to pray and work, work on... Try to figure out what I can do with my psychic side. In the long term, there was... Ending the out of character, the name of the dark one species, the cross one. <laughs> uh, it would be a long term, it'd be ending the Necrozma threat, but aside from that, I don't really know. Mm. Arak? Yalila? She looks to the ground and then holds out a hand. He step forward, steps forward, taking her hand in his. You remember what we were talking about back in Indicus? When I was trying to make those flowers. Yes, you were talking about wanting to be able to make them on your own and not rely on your emotional state to do so. Yeah. She just releases a, a, a small vine to slowly wrap around his paw and hers. I've been thinking a lot about that. He nods, lifting up his paw slowly, giving the vine a gentle kiss before lowering his head back. <laughs> These vines have been helping a bit. When I put them around things, it's sort of like I can feel what it feels. You're Nervous, aren't you? Yeah. That. I've been getting better on that, though. It's okay to be nervous. I know I always am being... In a team like this, being part of something that is frankly so much bigger than, well, anything really. And having friends like this, there's always the idea in the back of my head of what if I misstep, what if I say something silly or just a bit of stage fright, I guess, always being a team leader is not that easy. Yeah, that sounds like quite the burden to bear. And, I mean, our team leader has... quite a lot so I wouldn't want to shoulder that kind of responsibility <laughs> but it does but you've done really well with your team every time we've talked it seems that you all fit together quite well yeah Farah, Zaniel, Trevor We really do get along really well, but at the same time, we all are very different people, different backgrounds. It's still a lot of stuff to take into account. But I try my best. Even with all the things that I'm dealing with, I really try my best.
and I know you are too. I can see it even when I'm not touching you. I can see it every time that I look at you. You're really trying. Thank you. Yeah. Sometimes I'm not sure why. <laughs> but I guess as I said I a while back, I can't really see tomorrow, but I need to make sure there's a tomorrow to look forward towards. If you can't see it, then you just make it happen. <laughs> As if. Oh. How oh, I wish I could do something like that. Mm -hmm. You create your own future, right? I always wonder if me becoming this way was because I met you. You know, becoming Midnight. I never really knew what I was going to become until, well, soon after I met you. Really? So you decided on Midnight? It, it's, it might seem a little silly, but it took some time, and you inspired me a little bit. Bedrock kind of, Bedrock tilts his head with curiosity, clearly not quite sure what to make of having inspired someone else sorry for putting you on the spot like that it's fine it's fine just never would have expected to inspire someone else. especially in the state I was back then Well, the way you were back then, I know you're scared a lot of things, and joining a team like that must have been really hard, especially after what happened. That's kind of the odd thing. It was almost one of the most natural things. I saw an opportunity and to get away from my own village and I took it. I guess I developed a bit of a habit of making choices without thinking through the consequences. That's just being a person, really. A lot of the time, we just do things. We don't really think about the what-ifs. We just live in the moment. It's what I've learned to do a lot of the time with, well, my team and even growing up. Just don't worry too much about everything. Sometimes you just need to act. Maybe spend too, time, too much time thinking about things, well then... Eventually time will run out. The world's not gonna stop and wait for you. Yeah. You got a point there. It's looks down at their hands together and 
then slowly brings up her other hand. Padrock goes from a smile to a grin as he takes her other hand in his. You know, your hands are really warm. <laughs> that, that comes with the territory of a fire type. Yeah, I have some experience being around Vera all the time. You know, when I get cold, I oftentimes cuddle up with my team, and she especially likes to keep us warm. That sounds kind of sweet. What about you? You ever do anything like that? Just find someone to be close to when you're cold or uncertain? He kind of wants to the side. I'm not used to really feeling cold. I and with my team, there's not really don't have quite that kind of connection. So, I'm not... I suppose that would be the case. It's not before now. He says before. I guess not until I met you, he says before. That before was a little bit... their fur touching. Mm. I'm still a bit nervous, you know? About us? I've never really been this close to someone before. Especially after that happened. You know, my brother was the closest person to me. sense. I, I thought when sorry, out of character Pharaoh is the bird, right? Pharaoh. Pharaoh. I thought you and Pharaoh were pretty close friends. We're close friends, but when it comes to family, I tend to be pretty distant. Even around my mother when she occasionally visits i i've just been keeping to myself a lot of the time i'd be lying if i did, said i didn't know how that feels Not too close with your mom, are you? Or your parents in general? Not really. No. I suppose that makes the both of us. We never really considered anyone to be that close, but... I don't know. It, it, how do you really even explain these kinds of things? It feels almost crazy when you think about it. Uh, even though I am nervous, it feels like something... Ah, deep breaths. It feels like something that should happen. Padrock nods gently. <laughs> Considering where I grew up, I never thought I'd be in a position like this. At least, not until I had, I'd be 
too busy with my destiny to really pursue a thing. And I even almost let this opportunity slip past me. If it wasn't for a movie pointing, pointing out your interest, I might have let this opportunity slip past me. <laughs> he pauses and purrs a little bit tighter for a moment. I'm glad that timeline didn't come to pass. Yeah, me too. She looks down at their hands and slowly another vine comes from her other paw to wrap around his, keeping them both together. So... I like to think and hope that I'm making the right decisions in my life. And, well, even if I don't know for sure, something in my mind just tells me that I shouldn't let go. No, I won't. I'll hold on, and I'll cherish it for as long as I can. And she squeezes his hands with hers. Alright, Padrock? He nods. And she slowly leans forward. Touching her nose to his. Nose rubs against hers gently for a moment before he tucks his muzzle, his lips meeting her before returning to the nose rub. He slowly leans in and touches back and then when he pulls back, she takes a brief second before pressing forward again. Then pressing kiss and to when him. She, when she does, Padrock closes his eyes, pressing his, pressing into the kiss as well. His hands gently rubbing the fur of her paws and slowly rubbing the vines around them. He closes her eyes, spinning a moment, and slowly she takes a deep breath, breath through her nose before eventually she pulls back. Faint spark in there in the air as their lips part. That was... I... <laughs> Padrock grins. Actually, stumbling to form warmth for a moment. <laughs> Sorry. Why haven't we done that before? <laughs> that was uh, wonderful. Yeah. She just kind of shakes her head and looks down at their paws. Hmm. You see that? Gently lifts up his paw to bring her paw closer as he looks at it. And it looks like there are 
two flowers in them. Both green. Gently lifts the paw up to his nose. Slowly giving the flowers a sniff. That's really the first time I've been able to do that without something, well, it's the first time I've done that when I was happy. I guess that's why it's a different color. <laughs> You can have one if you want. It won't hurt if I take it? No. You'll be okay. Adrock fully lifts up his other paw. Holding the paw with the flowers gently as he Tucks one of them and tucks it into the fur of his ear. It looks nice on you. Thank you. She is, after a moment, brief hesitation, she just slowly uncoils the vines from her, from his eyes and Let's them go. Pulling back. Pedro takes a slow breath as he stands back up straight. I'm really glad I met you, Pedro. The feeling's very mutual. Will you stay here for a while? My... Only for a little bit. Yeah. Just takes a deep breath and... Looks at the flower that she still has. Thank you, Paddock. Thank you. No. Thank, thank you, you so Lilo. much. <laughs> Love you. Love you too, Paddock. I think. Well. Do you want to go to the lake and just hang out there for a little while? Uh, sorry. <laughs> he steps forward almost like you see him about about to sprint before he stops himself and turns to her, giving her practically an exaggerated nod. I'd love to. Well, let's go. Guess with that, they're gonna start hanging off towards the lake. That moment, if you look toward the t fence, you're just seeing both Aluvi <laughs> just sitting there, just like, Congratulations, you two. This kind of blinks oh. and stares at him. Hey, Aluvi. Absolutely no sign of embarrassment on his face. Not a word to anyone. 
Oh no, don't worry, my <laughs> lips are sealed. I am a grass type. <laughs> they stare at him with a little smirk. As I said, my lips are sealed. Good. <laughs> she kind of shakes her head and smiles for going on. Uh, since you're moving her token, I see. Hmm? Would you be willing to move Irox as well, since he'd be moving alongside her? Thank you. He's like, yee! <clears throat> and with that, um, I absolutely adore how that scene turned out. You, I both. <laughs> just the realization that they were being watched. It's just <laughs> they don't care. At least Badrock don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Badrock don't care. Lila's just like. Not a word. <laughs> Levi's sitting there like, and like he hears about going to the lake. He's like, mm, I don't want to be seen. Bye. <laughs> yeah, good thing you left when you did, because otherwise the movie was going to announce it no matter what. He's like, just alluvian Lee. Oh, he's not there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, okay, fair enough. And of all the places, he ends up right next to uh, Team Blackford. <laughs> hey, Levi. Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. Mm. You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> That's a good roll. <laughs> just came between the alleyway and just, just like he notices you. He was like, sneak, sneak, sneak. <laughs> By one. By one. <laughs> 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 just like I see you left me alone Levi I told you to leave but he just looks up at Luffy and just leans back a little bit I didn't want to be seen. You decided to stick around. Oh, I very much announced myself. Yeah, I wasn't going to. You do realize that if Leela finds out that you said anything... Uh, ta, 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 ta. I'm not saying a word. Good. Because they threatened consider, me with their ass typing. Consider, Livy. Present company. I'm not saying a word about it. <laughs> I'm just you. sitting here enjoying the fire. Would you care to join us? Sure, why not? <laughs> Hey. But it'll only be brief that we sit here because I still have to exp I suppose I still have to explain to well at the very least you given what was said about me. Oh yes, your lethargy? Yes, my Lethargy, which has thankfully subsided, courtesy of the uh, potion maker. Alchemist. Tomato, tomato. It's like your cheeks are made of tomato. And I will crush you like a tomato if you make that joke again. <laughs> oh, I'd love to see you try. <laughs>
Now's not the time. <laughs> so then, was it actually a lethargy or is there something else to it? Uh, came here for a moment. He gets up from the fire and steps to the south. Way to be suspicious about it. Would you rather I <laughs> openly talk about it in front of several people that if they learned about it, it could be the death of me? <sighs> no. Then come along. Into the scary alleyway. Oh no. Let's see. Must be really this must be must be really be this far out. Just trying to make sure no one's around. Good gracious, you are paranoid. Be right past him the spicy sweet send out cycle Sally's his home. <laughs> It smells like cinnamon candy. I know a certain Nicket that would be obsessed with this. <laughs> <sighs> you know what? Let's just do it here. That or we head over to the training yard now that it has become... vacant. We just left the training yard. Just get it over with. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> we always need to just one more check into the house to make sure before poking his head back out. Okay. And even then, and even now then, I he's gonna be talking par talk talking quietly. Okay. Now I saying? definitely know that you're being paranoid. What Sing <laughs> said is correct. About withdrawals? Withdrawal. From... What's going on right now? He just quietly... <clears throat> he quietly takes one of the claws, one of his claws, and just taps his necklace three times before closing again and putting it, and, and putting it back down. I haven't taken a single drop of the stuff since I joined the rescue team. Well, that's an information I never knew. This addictive? Well, don't most people, Olivia, don't take it enough. And most people don't live long enough to find the addictive properties of it. Most of the time, people get sick, sick of it. Especially if you are in the, uh... the old path. So, let me get this straight. You or what? No, away. not the old path. Not the old path. Not the old path. Excuse me. The Wardens. The Wardens are typically forced to take key gifts quite a bit. Quite often. And given Reyes' case, given a number of other cases, it gets to a point of they take it so often it gets repulsive, tiresome. My case, however, especially with some of the ones I've made for myself, I change properties. I try to improve it. And at some point down the line, I haven't taken it in a very long time. And it's getting to me. A lot. So, let me get this straight. You dragged me all the way out here just to tell me that you need a Gigas fix. I'd rather not tell other people that I... about this issue right now. Because... I don't know what will happen if I did. So I'm trying to deal with it. The best I can. So, what do you want me to do about it? 
Nothing. If anything, just someone to confide in, because I trust you. Well, that's that's a phrase I was hoping to hear from you one day. Check that off the bucket list. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> I didn't want to tell the teams, because it can easily get misconstrued. I didn't want to tell the Guildmaster, because it can easily become a problem. And I really don't want to tell Apollo, or Caster for that matter, because I don't want them getting upset with me about something like this. Yeah. I haven't I haven't taken it yet. I really want to take it. Holy crap, I really want to take it. Yes. But I haven't yet. So what you're saying is, is that you need to wean off of it. Uh, what I'm saying is, I need to do something. Either I, I, I cutting cold turkey is not a good idea right now. This is this is this is the tonic and the, the drink I took. I'll be honest with you, is the only thing getting me through today right now. I Beyond see. that. The reason why I was doing the berry thing is because that, that was just me trying to do something, be out of sight, out of mind. It's what I did when I first got in, in New Treasure Town, when I was trying to maintain a little profile, and no one paid attention to me. Except was... me. Yes, but you were there too. When I did it, it was, I was by myself usually. I didn't expect to see you there. To be frank, there wasn't a whole lot that I was really wanting to do, but uh, but what you're saying is that Gigas is addictive in your case. You need some of it, even if it's just a little, just to calm you down. Otherwise, you'll be suffering through paranoia, wanderlust, etc. I'm not sure I'll wander less, but... Please, Levi. You walking around through the gardens and picking berries, I would call that wanderlust. That was me trying to keep myself busy doing something or another. Ashariah. <laughs> One moment. <laughs> I had to take a deep breath for a moment there. Proceed. <laughs> no. Lethargy would be a very bad thing for you to come across. Yeah, and it's not exactly like I can go through a uh, drug removal program, especially given we don't exactly have months to go through one of those things. Levi, in my medical opinion I would rather you take Gigas than suffer lethargy even if it's in a confined spot where you will not be in any sort of engagement whatsoever that can be arranged and if you help me it can be a hell of a lot easier to do that like I said You'll have to wean yourself off of it. It may not get to go away permanently, but while I'm against the decision, it is the only way. Especially given the time we are in right now, because I have a feeling, uh, you know, I have a feeling that depending on what happens, what with the zealots, what with the end of days at the horizon that there will be a time on a mission or two that I take it. And when I do, if it's one of mine, I should be fine. 
If it isn't, I don't know. You would think that you would think that taking this stuff so much, I would be have a, some sort of an immunity to it. Maybe you'll just not hit me as much as, as it should. But please, Levi, Rhea had well over eight hundred dose, and was still able to use it. I don't yes. think immunity is a thing. Yes, and Rhea is also something of a special case because that many doses would kill you usually, especially in a short time period. True. I, I'm honestly just glad she's still around. And she's making remarkable recovery. She is. Rhea's too pissed to die. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe Rhea's actually just doing guy. <laughs> Can believe it. Can believe it. Doom noon. Your eyes? It's your eyes? Doom Noon. <laughs> Though <clears throat> I have to go figure something out actually. I'm guessing a date in the shop. Uh not I mean, as much as I would love to. Not right now. I can't do that by myself. But no. Well, I guess the next question is more obvious, then. What of that cure you were given? That... the ingredients? It's, not, it's incomplete. We're still working on finding where this other component is. Or rather, what it is. Ariel, I'm sure, has an idea as to where it could be, or what it is but alas you i haven't got work i sure as shit hope so but i have no idea what to expect when i take it because it's supposed to do the thing that caster can't do which is forcibly remove yourself from a connection yes specifically forcibly remove myself from a connection with the crossma and given what we've learned about the mark as of recently, I'm honestly worried what will happen when we do that. You mean the ones that were marked that came after us with a almost zealous intent? They came after us as though they were on the drug, Aluvi. But they didn't have any signs of Gigas. No. But they had every intent to fight us to death. We can go back to the lake, by the way. I still think you're being paranoid, but... Uh, you can blame the withdrawal symptoms. I think I'll do just that. Either way... In regards to... that incident alongside Lunala... It... Definitely gave me some insight as to what exactly I've been afflicted with. And maybe even from there we can go and learn more about it, but... There is something else I have to figure out. And you brought it up, and I have, to, I have no idea where to go with it. That being? This. He would... Actually, just do this. Uh, in his paw, in his hand, he would suddenly create, like, suddenly start charging electricity. Before pointing upward, and actually do this non-targeting, and sending a beam of a beam of charge a, a charge beam into the air. But before it gets too far, you can see electrical tethers latch on to the side of it as the beam goes from going straight up to who knows where to suddenly curving and shifting into a different direction. It's still going up, but then it curves and goes straight. Is it just straight to the east over the lake outside of, outside of Neutrator Town? It'll fizzle out on the way. 
When you watch the electricity, you hear a bit of a flash. Bad Rock looking over from his spot in the water. Woe is to the poor fool who gets struck by that. It should fizzle out before it gets too far. <laughs> but, uh, uh... That. You Kinda adjusted it, you adjusted it midair, yes? That ability to adjust it, I kind of just like, figured out how to do it, and I have no idea how. So, is that what's been every once in a while sparking out? That is something I use periodically when I see us in a fight. I see an attack get used, and I decide, hey, what if I can just take control of that? And then I've done it with your I've done it with your rocks. I've done it with Padrock's fire. I've done it with Caster's poison. I've done it with my own capabilities, be it electrical or dr draconic. And it's interesting. Well, imagine my shock when I suddenly wasn't able to use power gem anymore. It seemed to have changed. But the funny thing is, if I do use it, oftentimes it seems that I just create th matter out of nothing. Yeah, much larger rocks. <laughs> well, they aren't rocks, they're part of my crystal and structure, actually. Oh. It's a bit odd, but I feel like I can alter this in some way. No clear way of doing so yet, but I'm sure I'll come up with an idea at some point. Maybe form a wall. I'll be a temporary. Definitely be nice for keeping us separated from other entities. So I imagine if you suddenly you suddenly start casting a bunch of rocks and I decide to uh make sure that people that are in range get hit by it. I'm sure you wouldn't mind a little bit of assistance every now and then. Oh, I can't exactly complain. I'm not necessarily the best shot. Hey, you're an alright shot, Luffy. I mean, I'm, I miss quite a bit, too. No, no, I think you might be right. I remember that one time I used a Geo Pebble and threw it 15 yards straight at a dummy, and it looked like it hit it square in the center. Never could repeat that. No, but it did look like it hurt. Even then. What do you plan to do? Well, actually, in regards to some of the things you know how to do in the field, you were talking about TMs. Do you plan to change it? Well, as useful as Stealth Rock has been, I feel like it takes too much time to set up. I can and see that. While it has its uses, it's not always appropriate, and... There's very few situations where I've had to, need, had to use it. So I may be replacing that with Earthquake, which is more immediate. Nah. <laughs> earthquake. Yes, literally, I just take my foot, stomp the ground as hard as I can. I, uh, yeah, uh, I'm not sure that's a good idea. Why? Consider those around you. I'm sure I can curve it to make it sure it doesn't hurt them. Just gotta be a little careful. I I suppose. Maybe. Fine. If it makes you feel better, I'll try using it in the training yard first to confirm my theory. Though not with a live subject, mind you. If 
probably going to use can... another rock. We can do that. <laughs> but considering the fact that majority of the team is, uh... I'm aware. Yeah. But it is go a good thing to have in case we come across someone who's also affected by this. Speaking Think of... About it. Oh. Think about it. How many times have we come across a, an enemy that may as well be untouchable while they're underground? We yeah, encountered an enemy that knew how to travel underground once? And when it will happen inevitably. We also encountered an ally that liked to travel underground. Their name's Nathaniel. They live in... Uh, he, anyway. Um... The point I is... get your point. I get your point. I get your point. That doesn't make the move any less terrifying to me, but I understand. There is another option. <sighs> you know how when I create my moves, it materializes matter straight out of thin air? What if I was able to manipulate the area around them? to where I can levitate someone. That's the other option. And something I haven't really tried, but... Uh, Freakson is naturally a psychic Pokemon, is it not? I... Given some of the feats that Padrock can do, I can say yes. So I have a theory. Magnetism. Okay. I can help you out with that. My time messing around with electronics allows me to... Every now and then allows me the opportunity to mess around with magnetic poles and magnetism. And it provides magnets through electricity. Well, here's the problem, is that this is going to be more of a case of trying to levitate a single person and not a electronic device. No, 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 we're not levitating an electronic device. It's usually just small things that I can do with the lift, but... I understand. <laughs> we can probably figure something out, though. Yes, but as I said, it's not something I know how to do all out off right. I would have to find someone who knows how to do that, actually. Probably someone like an Al Alakazam. They know how to do that. Surely. Pretty sure. Though, that said... Let me see... He looks off to the water again. Looking around quietly. Huh? That's new. <laughs> that was a sound. Uh oh. Which sound? There's a wave of water. Oh. <laughs> he didn't flap his wings, so everything's okay. Splash. There's just like a tiny ripple that would like be noticeable. And we'll probably <laughs> smack Patrick in the face. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. Caster. The it's song has re <laughs> the song has rekindled his strength. Oh, I'm picturing oh. smack in the face more like wave pool. Wayful. Like they just kind of go, they kind of get levitated upward just a little bit. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> let's go check in on that one because I don't see a certain Milotic anywhere. I'm curious. Are you talking about? Oh, why are they messing around in the water so much? Hello, Leela Padrock. Hey, Leela. Hey, Padrock. Oh, hey, hey you two. How's it going? I'm going oh. to check on uh, our splishy, splashy friend. Want to come? Pedro flaps this to Lila. I think I'll um. stay here for the moment. Hmm? Fair enough. All right. Uh, sorry to bother. You two have fun now. <laughs> 
She's, she was just like, don't you take Padrock from me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you're the one who put, who bought him into this. I, I, I see the huff. I'm just like, good. <laughs> good. I know what I did. It's just like, warning sign. Let's see. One side of Lithia. Yeah, you can do a marathon around this thing. Holy crap. No kidding. Are you enjoying yourself? I just thought I'd get your attention somehow. Wait, well, you, wait. you did. What are you trying to get our attention for? You specifically. Okay, let me react to the question. What are you trying to get my attention for? I saw what you did over there. Uh huh. What about it? And I'm curious how well you're able to control it. Elaborate. Placentia's eyes just have a small glimmer as he looks at him. Ah, oh, shit. Levi <laughs> just immediately takes a stance. Well, His paw sparking just in case. Like, hold up. You do realize, Levi, you brought this on yourself. Yeah, well, today was boring anyway. Ever find it strange how since your encounter with Stormir, you could do that? Has it been that long? <coughs> Bless you. you. Sorry. You're fine. Artemis, Artemis <laughs> sneezes again. I actually sneeze. <laughs> and no, and traps was yet yet to be mentioned. But uh, I digress. Has it been that long? But yes, I do. This ability kind of, this thing kind of just appeared once, and I just kept using it. And he says that he just ex separates his paws and just creates several arcs of electricity between his digits before putting his paws back together. What about it? Serious question. Why don't you release an attack in the air? I'd like to see. Okay, sure. Into the air it goes. Keep it up and you'll end up like Kua with his fireworks display. <laughs> I can't just send the attack towards you, you know. You do realize it would do nothing. You do realize I can do, I can do something worse, too. Don't you dare put your hands to my head. I won't. Yet. He might be like, you're going to catch these hands. <laughs> and as he says yet, he just launches another charge beam into the air. Huh? <laughs> Ying! It's like, huh. Well, imagine that. Wait. Wait, 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 hold, hold up. Time out. That's yours. It is. So, what Jirachi is to a Luvi, you're to you. Holy shit. I'm less lazy, but yes. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> Shots fired at Jirachi. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let Jirachi hear that. Oh, I time mean, to him. It's true, though. <laughs> Sleeping 600 years on the job. How dare he? 
And at that moment, it's like, Jirachi just space slaps a Luffy from out of nowhere. It's like, don't you talk not bad about me. Fuck this fox in particular. Just like, ow! Fucking future sight. Doom desire. No, it's doom <laughs> desire, yeah. Which is even worse than a rock type. It's steel. It'll be. It'll be okay. No, it won't. No, it won't. I'm, no, I'm, I'm fully aware. Steel type is awful. Uh, just gets doom desired out of nowhere. Yes. Uh, That'd be fucking painful. You got that from me. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. In this way now. Right. And I see you've been using it frequently. It's been very useful to make sure that my my friends can actually, you know, succeed in combat. So, what is this ability called exactly? It doesn't really have a name. But I've come to call it Polarity Shift. Interesting, but yeah, well, it, it's a working title, okay? But it, it works for me because it's taking it's taking an attack that gets used and ever so slightly influencing the direction that it may go. It can be going one way, it can completely miss, and then just complete. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Magneto Lugia. Oh, oh. That completely killed my dream of thought. Goddamn. <laughs> Drip or die. Drip. You're saying about <laughs> subtly affecting the path of a move? Mm -hmm. Okay, two things. One, caster. <laughs> All dripless bastards must be purged from this beautiful world. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have to get that out of my system. Um, yeah, it's basically, <clears throat> say you use any move, I can take hold of it and shift it in, in the enemy's direction. Even if they try to dodge it, I can shift it right into the direction. And I just call, started calling a polarity shift. It made sense. I thought it was creative. I've only barely noticed it a couple of times, but I always did wonder how that happened. Just a move that... Looks like the enemy may, may succeed in dodging it. I just make sure they can't, if I can. Well, you can call it what you wish, but I'm glad it's helped. <laughs> that said, can it get stronger? Perhaps. Like, what, would you, what would you even do to make something like that stronger? Well, the opposite, I suppose. Take, another, <clears throat> take a move from, from, say, one of our enemies that may be coming after you. For example, let's say we have someone trying to shoot at you with a hydro pump. Or some large amount of water going in your direction. And if I can just take a hold of that and shift it out of your way... To make sure you're, you're safe? I mean, I'd be happy. Um, it could be possible. But that's something you have to work on yourself. Which means I'm going to be redirecting a lot, of, a lot of things to get that far. That or just at a distance grab somebody and yoink them. Similar to, I know Padra can already do that, but even if it's just as simple as a small, a small yoink, then you don't have to be all the way to me. Small well, word of advice, Levi. Try not what? to strain yourself with it. <laughs> right. Uh, Jared Levi is asking how to make something stronger, and here I am trying to figure out how to commune with Jirachi a little more without having to go all the way back to that mountain. Jirachi's fickle, I hear. 
Yes, and I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm not even sure if it's working. Much less if they hear what I'm saying. They're really nice. <sighs> have you tried wishing to see Jirachi? You'd think that would be the easiest thing to do, but... I... guess? Out loud? No, I mean, I haven't really thought of that, is what I'm saying. I... I don't know if it'll work. Maybe it will. It would be pretty cliché. It would be cliché. It would be silly. But if it but... works, it works. And given they helped you, I'm pretty sure they may be willing to, you know, impart some wisdom. Yeah, exactly. I mean, actually, come to think of it, let's send to you. Yes. Did you know you gave me this ability or? Was that on purpose? Was it on accident? Or <clears throat> I, I imagine you're aware of it. Yes, I gave it to you purposefully. Okay. Then yeah, if they know who you are, then in that case, Olivia. So <laughs> there has to be something that works, even if it's simple. Well, I've noticed that whenever I call out to Jirachi when using that move that heals you, it often has much greater results. I've only ever done it twice, and it was mostly the most sincerest of wishes that ever really took effect like that. Right. Sincerity. That may- Sincerity may play, play a factor in it. Huh. Well, you do have to mean what you do, of course. If you believe in what you're saying, try it. Like, just say it. Just announcing to the sky. Uh, Jirachi, I need... I, I wish to speak with you. I, I don't that's know. The, that's the exact words I used the first time. And I felt like a dunce when I realized nothing happened. <laughs> hmm. Like I said, I don't know. I'm just... I'm 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 trying to find an option. I'm spitballing. No, I'm, I'm I understand. trying to find something. I understand all too freely. How would how would you how would you try and summon Jirachi with Cynthia? Aside from like literally calling them out, I wouldn't know the first thing. You think legendaries would know each other's legendary callouts? You'd then think... again, you did call them out on call them out on being lazy. You think <laughs> we actually go by class? Legendary think... is not an association that we give ourselves. It's something that you give us. It was a joke, Lucentia. <laughs> Fair enough. <clears throat> Let's see. I don't think we have to go full on getting out the candles and salt and do a full summoning ritual. You know, I'm actually at that point where I might just try incense. And as easy as it is for me to go and talk to you directly, Cynthia, say that I was at a distance, or I was afar, abroad, on a mission. Would I have a means to contact you? Well, I am, a, I am a psychic type, and with my power, yes, we are bound, in a way. Perhaps oh. you may be able to get my attention somewhere. Right. 
could be as simple as thought or calling out. Maybe. Was... Maybe. Right here. I only just noticed it. I am that blind. What's up? Leo, right over there. Oh. Yeah. He's friendly. He just lowers his head down towards Levi. Regardless, I do still hope that what I gave you will continue to help. At least it's the least that I could do. Certainly has so far. Don't see whilst why it'll stop. Did I ever tell you a story? Perhaps I should. Le Levi will literally just the ta this tail would flick a little bit before stabbing itself into the ground. And then he just lifts himself off the ground and just balanced. Completely balancing himself on his tail as he's just listening to Lugie at this point as they regale him with a story. It just makes a little smirk at that. Hmm. So you know that Black Nine Tail is in town. The one who I brought here. Serenity Shadow. Yes. Do you know where she came from? Can't say I do. To be honest, we only have ever interacted with her maybe one time. It was created artificially. Have fun. You wouldn't know it, because they're not in this timeline, but there is a group called Cypher. Which is responsible for what created her. I have had my own dealings with them. Once upon a time, many many years ago, my own father was kidnapped by them, and used as a weapon. <laughs> <clears throat> Since then, well, I have been trying to find a way to make up for what happened, because due to their actions, my father is no longer around, and I couldn't save him. What actually happened? Shortly after he broke from their controller, someone with a Dragonite decided to attack. While the Dragonite was taken under captivity, my father was killed in the process. I see. I see. That's, um... What did they exactly do to your father to make them... I don't know, that, in that situation. Dermato wasn't the way she is now, when she first came around. She used to be like a machine. That's what they did to my father. Remove his personality? So his what personality, you're saying is that... his free will, make it so that he could only follow orders and nothing else. So, what you're saying is that they made him a shadow of his former self? You could say that. The literal uh, term they used for it is Shadow Pokemon. Oh, right on the money then. Did you happen to eliminate this organization? Yes, and they've been gone for years. Good. However, as I've said, I have been trying to find ways to make up for what happened. Get past my own doubts. 
my own helplessness. I figure coming here might help. And now the whole place is destabilizing. Well, if you ask me, you definitely have been doing more than just nothing. You've been actually helping us out. You helped us out quite a bit. You've been helping me out quite a bit indirectly. Even when we first met you, you weren't too rough with us. You were fairly gentle, and I appreciate that. I'm still trying to get over the fact that they were trying to call you a sea monster that they found in the freaking docks. <laughs> when you're like, as large uh, as I am and people don't know you, you tend to get some interesting looks. I apologize for the way that we met, though. I was overly curious. Curiosity killed the cat uh, Persian, indeed. Well, we're still alive. That's what matters. Hopefully it doesn't kill the mouse. Hopefully indeed. <laughs> <laughs> there was an entire fuck you in that. <laughs> <laughs> A.K.A. Pikachu, Raichu. Ah, uh, yes, the third evolution. Pikachu, Raichu, fuck Garuchu. you. <laughs> Pikachu, Raichu, fuck you. <laughs> oh, God, that was good. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. God damn. So, uh, there may be ways to concentrate it better to be able to do more, but... That will be up to you to do. I can only guide you. Only Jirachi could guide me. He does in his own way. But like I said, he's fickle. And lazy. And lazy. God, he's going to be hearing this and be giving me the worst outlook. You're not the one saying it. It's not that I'm saying it, it's the fact I'm doing nothing about it. I can only agree, because uh, as far as I've read in the books, it's accurate. I can't say anything against it. I'm going to roll... General Education. Because occult education is non-existent. <laughs> Okay. Good enough. One, oh, one three, three six. six. That is the most average roll you could ever get. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> fucking enough. <laughs> I'm average today. I am average today. <laughs> <laughs> we might just take one to think about it before asking. Isn't there also an entry in that book that says if he, if he's sleeping? He can be incredibly violent when you sleep. I'd like him not to approach that topic. Uh, he, just, he just kind of stares at you with like that blank stare of like, right, violent. Mm. Remind me to have Iron Defense set up just in case. I will say that it's lucky you and Umbrio went to that cave when he was awake. Wait, 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 wait. So that's real. That's true, then. Like I said, I will not approach that topic. Ah, uh, nice. Okay. Talk about a grumpy sleeper. Understood. We will leave that alone. There is one tale of a Bidoof who learned the hard way what happens. Fuck that side mission. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. You are 100% right, but I digress. <laughs> I will take it that the ear warning into account. I will then proceed 
to have every possibility covered. Hopefully not die. <laughs> we... Levi always sit there and think before looking at uh, Luby. I don't think... Let me just check the map, actually. I don't th remember it being that far. Question is, do we dare? Question for GM. Hmm? How far is the cave? From New Jersey. Oh, it's right there in the dead center. Well, it's not far. Yeah, this is up north. We can make a downtime session out of it. All right, cool. Oh, so this needs to be here. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> what needs to be where? Our marker was still in Indicus Town. Oh. <laughs> uh, Levi would close the map. Looks so Livy. I'll tell you what. There's still plenty of daylight out. Why don't we try our luck just a little bit and head over to Star Cave? <sighs> I'm out of options at this point. I may as well. We can also get a little bit of help, be it our team or some of the locals, and, and go. It might be safer just not taking other people to get caught in the crossfire. True. Hey, we can make it. It can be just me and you, too. I don't mind. <sighs> well, like I said. I'm at a, at a lack of options. I've found nobody who has any experience in this. I don't know what I'm doing. It's the only option I think I'd have. Whatever you do, do. I do wish you luck. And I wish us luck that they are actually... Okay. Levi. Yes. Keep in mind that I will help any way that I can. Good. You take care of yourself too, as well. Of course. Be careful. <sighs> he just lowers into the lake, seeming to emanate something of a song before it disappears. Levi pauses a moment and just listens to that for a bit before looking to a movie. I'm going to go ahead and get some stuff together for that trip. It shouldn't be too much of an issue. Understandable. That's it. You, you want to do the same? Because I imagine Apollo's going to be busy with Caster. Padrock I'm not given, about the the look, given the look that Leela was giving us, I don't think they want <laughs> want to be separated right now. That's not a risk I'm willing to take. I'm leaving those two alone. Would you believe me if I said that Leela actually threatened threatened me with their typing? <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely leaving them alone. <laughs> I don't care if you're darn. <laughs> Because there's nothing more I was hoping to do. <laughs> I it's mean, if you want to come along, I can give the offer, but I don't want to rip you two apart. That that <laughs> that's a death sentence. No, no, with coming along. But uh, wait, what? Wait, we can leave these two alone and switch scenes again for a little bit. Um, I will say that uh. 
ask if there's anything else going on because it is 12 o'clock. It, yeah, it is. Yes, it, it is, is the hard cutoff. Also, what in the world? It is already <laughs> nap time. I apologize. It's all right. It's there. Oh. Actually, no, I don't apologize because I, <laughs> I, I, I told you we planned this. Yeah. <laughs> I don't we, what, we, we, this is the, like perfect, cut, you know, cutoff moment. Also, in Creations ATS, what the heck is that? <laughs> yeah. It, if you all want to keep doing stuff, absolutely go on. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go to sleep. You, you rest take well. care. And... Yeah. Good night, Luke. Good night. night. Wow. Mm -hmm. So, back to Padrock, and we love for a little bit. Session only go on for a little bit longer. Lulish is sitting by the lake, sort of just, like, smiling at Padrock. Smiling there. <laughs> I, yeah, uh, with, I guess with him in his position, he's kind of sitting at the uh, edge of the water, his mm. legs in the lake as he Leans up against Leela. What are you thinking about? He went for a moment before considering the question and saying fairly honestly, I wasn't really thinking much. Mm -hmm. Just yes about the kiss. <laughs> it was a nice kiss. That's an understatement. <laughs> kind of smile is a little blush. <laughs> I swear, Tinga went right through my body with that. Well, what do you want to do now, then? I was... Before kind of like, I was thinking of practicing my moves a little bit more, so... I guess after a bit of a swim, I'd go do that. You want to show me a little bit? Oh, sure, I could probably do that here. Let's see. When I came over, I saw you trying to move a rock. Maybe you could move the water. Or me. Ah, <laughs> uh, that might be a bit loose. Oh, I could try using my other psychic move. <laughs> well, whatever you want. Side beam's pretty colorful, he says. <laughs> And I guess at this point, Levi and Aluvi would be looking over them as they talk about not disturbing the two. As Padrock takes a breath, starting to gather energy. <laughs> well, it was a little erratic, but it was pretty. <laughs> and But instead of the gathering psychic energy, there's like cough as never flower petals just fly out of his mouth. She tilts her head. Bad rock. Stares at them as they land in the water. That's that's not supposed to happen. Strange. Uh, hold on, let me try that again. I says, swear, hey. I swear there was nothing in that kiss. <laughs> uh, I definitely, those definitely weren't in my mouth before. 
Let me let me try again. Maybe I've cleared my training be coming out of my throat. All right, focus, gathering energy at the forehead, and again another flurry of petals. This time, rather than I guess the first time you'd see like just a couple, this time like. Five or six come out flying in different directions. Apparently, one of them was polarity shifted. <laughs> see them, and as they fly through the air, I guess with Levi's polarity shift, you'd see them shift directions suddenly. That is oh. strange. You said you were trying to use sighting? Yeah, it's. Basically, a c colorful beam of psionic energy that mm -hmm. only works a lot better than that. It looks it a... kind of familiar. So, what are we going to say, Glissy? It looks sort of familiar. Yeah, they look like. Petals, but those shouldn't be coming out of me. It says before. Uh, let me check something else. It says before turning his attention to the plants in the water and reading at them. Barely need to focus as some of them just lift gently out of the water before. Slowly loading, lift, lowering back in. No, uh, psychic still working. Hmm. So it's not. So that's not the problem. Maybe try it again. See if anything happens. Sure, but all right. Deep breath and hmm. four petals come flying out of his mouth. As they do so, I guess given Lila's closest, she would see the green glow of grass type energy forming them from inside his mouth. Oh, that is it. That... I thought it looked familiar. What do you mean looked familiar? Well, let me let me just show you a little thing. Okay. Just puts her paws on his shoulders and looks in the air before taking a deep breath and then releasing both of her paws out. You. See that? Yeah, that. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> That's sort of what it looks like. You know. I doubt that could be the case, but... Maybe I'm just pulling at straws, but... There has to be some answer. Well... You are the grass type, so and if you recognize the energy as such, then... Maybe we should go look into this, he says. Stepping out of the water, steam coming from his form as he 
dries himself off. Shall we head back to the training grounds? Yeah. Get to the bottom of this? Yeah. <laughs> nice to be a fire type, isn't it? <laughs> Comes in handy. I think down with that, we can kind of fade to black on this. Thank you for... Yeah. <laughs> in, in, thank you for indulging me in this. My guess, pedal dance. So. Smile. But, yeah. We can call it a session. That would be my guess anyway. <laughs> Alright, what did you say guess was? Pedal dance. <laughs> if that's even a move. It is, it is a dance. It is a move as well. <laughs> a damage dealing grass type move. Ooh. Yep. So yeah, that is session fifty four. Uh I'm not really gonna go over roll call, but if anyone has anything they'd like to say about the session, they can go ahead. No, not really. I mean it was fun. It was nice. I had a good time. <laughs> A lot of what we had going seems to be a lot of setup, so that's what I feel it is. But it is good that Leela and Padrock are officially, you know, together now. They finally kissed. <laughs> and now Leela is being like, you're not taking him from me. No. <laughs> it's like, you brought this upon yourself. This is now mine. Mile. <laughs> but uh yeah I think everything went pretty well a lot of it I did yellow because despite the fact that we had three weeks between sessions I didn't really write much down at all I just yeah, sort of like I just sort of planned things and then decided you know what we're gonna just see how things go from here Hell, oh, maybe this can work on my improv. <laughs> I think you did really well with the scene between Lila and Padrock. That, yeah. defi that definitely felt really sweet, and I'm still feeling giddy about that. <laughs> Butterflies. <laughs> yep. And all the same, like, it feels like some characters have managed to set up for what they want to do next. Like, you know, <laughs> Luby's conundrum of trying to commune with Chirachi. He can't really figure out what he's doing because he doesn't know what he's doing. Best and option. Hey, and hey, Leo, I finally talked to Lucentia. <laughs> <laughs> After getting splashed. Leo didn't get splashed. I'm not saying you did. I'm saying, like, there was a ripple that came our way. Just like, hey... But, uh, Castor also got to talk more with, uh, Turnitus, and... God. Like, if Luby sees that little projection, he's just gonna be like, what? <laughs> Glacy mad. <laughs> but Apollo like... helped him out, too, and... Um... So we have a few pictures. Not too many. But... We can go over this. Over three weeks, like, you'd think over three weeks we would have had, like, something to do, and it's just like, yeah, <laughs> it ended up not being so. It's okay, we, though. We did have plenty of downtime. Plenty of stuff happened in downtime. But, let's go over some pictures. So, the first one is a commission from Scott by 8,000. Mm -hmm. From <laughs> the Cosicon streams. Here it comes. Uh, Padrock and Alibi. Just like, look at those bulky hands. <laughs> <laughs> like, people ask the question, it's like, he's like, why is he so big? It's like, because he's built like a boulder, because he is one. <laughs> it's okay, Padrock. You'll get taller than him eventually. <laughs> Smile. And then Alibi's like, have you seen his athletic store? And then Taika decides to come in and make a little response to that. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this was actually not, this wasn't in relation to the this was not in relation to the athletic score, but it was just a case of like he looks buff, and then he just added that. <laughs> Luffy has rock hard abs, literally. <laughs> and he's like, "Can I just?" And that's been a that's been a scary quote from him ever since. Like he did a that canon I just the second time with the freaking stilettos. I'm like, no. <laughs> literally, it looks like more like minerally. God, that damn it. <laughs> Pap. <laughs> minerally <laughs> abs. <laughs> And Scott saw the rock abs and was like, why didn't I think of that myself? So <laughs> played. But, uh, the next one is a gif, uh, from Crimson, when we are talking about Alibi being a brick wall. It's like, I'm going to, I'm trying to decide how to get ready to punch this wall, <laughs> rough skin Brox. <laughs> <laughs> you do not punch the wall. The wall punches you. <laughs> hitting all these wall was like hitting a wall. You still get hurt, and the wall is fine. Meanwhile, Padrock, imagine punching things. <laughs> it's like who needs to punch him when you can just use you know special. He's just as good. I and punch things with my mind. But. After that is one that Taika recently posted just an hour ago. Oh yeah, this one. I was like, how the hell did he do the Twitter post thing? <laughs> so, we got to uh, voice act this. I can't oh. get into it, but let's just say today was the best day of my life. Best day of my life has officially occurred, and the best part is, it's all uphill from here. I'm not mad, just disappointed. I told you not to say anything. Well, now it's not a secret. I gave up no identifying information. You, you really need to work on your loophole abuse, hon. Just throwing this out there, I officially called dibs on being the best man. You're making some bold demands for a fellow within Dragon Pulse distance. <laughs> Dragon type? Sand attack. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> <Bugging> rude. <laughs> it's just like Levi's like, you're making bold claims. I was going to be the best man. <laughs> you're damn right I was. <laughs> but you forget, Aluvi was the one who started this. This is true. I can settle for, I can settle for being one of the groomsmen. <laughs> but, I just imagine Levi in a tux now. But oh wait, we actually have an image of that. We do have an image of that, actually. <laughs> oh yeah, we do. We do. I'm gonna bring that up because I well, already that, saw that posted. You know, that's just funny. Future coincidence. It's like I think not. Like, I think someone used like IRL future site just for this moment. Hey, uh, Bryce, you want to send that in Creations APS or DM it to me? I'd rather not. You'd rather not? You don't want to show not. it on stream right now? Nah. Alright. <laughs> okay. Sag. <laughs> Pretty sure it's already in Creations ATS if you scroll up high enough. No, it isn't. No? It was a little while ago. I guess I got deleted. Plus, it was a uh, Patreon exclusive post, so I don't know if I should post it anywhere. Uh, oh, fair enough. Wait, what? Wait, wait, what? Recent commission of Levi from Scott. In a suit? No, not a suit. I don't think it was patron exclusive. I, I don't think Scott does patron exclusive. Uh, Filling out in a tree and eating an apple. Oh that picture <laughs> should i post that one i thought you were talking about the one in the suit i'll go find it yeah you can post that and i'll show it <laughs> yeah i don't i don't remember yeah. scott ever making any like you know commissioned image patron only that well it was posted on patreon but yeah that just seems like out of character for scott <laughs> <laughs> but then again it... i don't know pretty sure we've already sh no maybe not Pretty sure we haven't, because I wouldn't remember it. 
when I saw it on Patreon, that was the first time I saw it. Okay. Well, now so, you got um, me curious. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and uh, meet myself. Oh, whenever Bryce posts the image, I'll show it. There we go. So, a commission for Bryce, Levi, from Scott. Splash. <laughs> yeah, I have not seen this one. <laughs> so I don't think it's an apple either. I think that's an orange berry. <laughs> it's an orange berry. That's a thing. Dome. Scott always draws you so fluffy. <laughs> Look at that and fluffy yes, rump. We made the tail far more pronounced. <laughs> that does good fluff. He got, he got the fluffy rump. The thickest of tails. <laughs> I but, needed a picture of Levi that was relatively casual. <laughs> and that's what was the result. <laughs> Looks great. Mm -hmm. Scythe and, tail. I mean, but, yeah, uh, that's, how, that's how you got in the tree in the first place. <laughs> but, uh... Hold on. Uh, we can raid someone. So I think we should raid the Prima again. We'll take out the Mako. Yep. They're playing yep. Uh, Season of the Deep and Destiny 2. So yep. we will go after them. And, yeah, so they're playing Season of the Deep, so if you're into Destiny 2 and you don't want to see spoilers or whatever, fair warning. But I hope you enjoyed this session. It was a lot more casual and, you know, calm than the usual PTSD we get every session. Next week will be a free session, so town stuff, mission, what have you, whatever we want to do. And hope you enjoyed. Hope you get lots of flippies, and we will see you same time next week. So later. A, oh, go on. Right. Oh, uh, you you can do the raid while I do this. I thought this was a nice little break, eh? and a good thing to come back to after such a time away. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, one thing I forgot to mention on stream. Um, those fancy effects that I was doing last session were actually from something that somebody gave me. Ariana decided to gift me basically a year's worth of um, Roll20 Pro membership, which allows me to use API, which I have been taking enormous advantage of. Thanks, but... sorry. And we're running out of time, so we'll yeah. talk to y'all later. Take care. See you guys later. Great. Thank you, Ari.